There is sun. There is sun. There is a snake on the path sunning. There is sun. There is water in the stream. There are daisies. There is sun. There is a snake on the path sunning. There is sun. There are trees. There are daisies. There is a feather. There is sun. There is the feather that she gave me. There is a feather. There is sun. There are daisies, there are words, there are trees, there are things, there are more things than there are words. There is sun, there is sun. There are foxtails, there are blank. There are irises, there are blank. There's a snake on the path in the sun, sunning. There's a squirrel, there is a squirrel. In the trash, there is sun. There is water in the stream, there's a squirrel. In the trash, there's a snake. On the path in the sun, sunning. There is sun. There is a feather. There is a feather. There is hair in my mouth from her hug in the sun. There is sun. There is flavor on my tongue. There is sun. There is a snake on the path singing in the sun. There is song. There is snake. There is sun on the path. There is a squirrel in the daisies. There is blank in the trash. There is water in the trees. There is a stream that she gave me. There is a song being sung by the birds in the sun. There is sun on the snake. There's a squirrel on the blank. There are daisies in the trash singing. There is sun, there is sun. There's a path in the trash. There is hair in the feathers singing. There is song, there is song. There are birds, there is hair in my mouth. There's a snake on the path sunning. There is sun, there is sun. There is hair in my mouth. There is singing on the path. There's a snake in the trash singing. There is song. There is sun. There are feathers in her hair. There is flavor in the stream. There's a snake on my tongue in the sun sunning. There is sun. There is sun. There is singing on the sun. There are birds on the grass. There are squirrels in the trash. There are trees with feathers singing. There is sun. There is sun. There is a snake on the path, sunning, there is sun. Woo! so alone 
we overlooked one another, standing as close as any man can to his own shadow. It's kind of an imaginary conversation, but it is in his voice, and I guess it could have happened under an ideal universe, I guess. It's called Someone Else's Child. I'm going to write a poem about you, I said. Should I tell the truth or just make something up? What you'd write about me? I'd write about the small things, like catching my first perch on a cane pole and accidentally slapping you upside the head with it. <laughs> it was the last time I fished, you know that? You cussed the waters black, mad. I never touched a fishing pole again. Why <laughs> would you want to write that? Silence. Do you remember when mom tried teaching me how to ride a bike? No, he said, let me hear it. Why I can't ride a bike. I outweigh my mother at least 50 pounds, though her effort to help me find my balance more colossal than any man's. My father, fingers rooted in pockets, watches us from a distance like we're on a channel he'd like to turn. That's a sad poem, he said. Can't you write nothing happy? <laughs> Not with you in it, I said. <laughs> but I ain't never hit you. Thumped your head once or twice. Mostly, I'm stuck remembering what we never did. Uh, share something, play catch even. Wasn't no after me. I once tried to teach you how to drive. Sitting next to me on the freeway holding the steering wheel doesn't count. Well, ain't had nobody to teach me none of them things either. Did you ever hold me when I was a baby, I asked. Nah, afraid I'd drop you. Besides, you were someone else's child. Didn't think we'd keep you very long. Thought for a while she'd come back and take you back to your people. You wrote a poem about right now, he said, about us here in this room. How would it go? <clears throat> Last rites. While sitting with my father, waiting for his end, white tubes sprouting wintry branches from him, I watch the hospital clock. See us men watching one another, not look at each other for one hour and 15 minutes. Somehow, in that ridiculous gulf of time, it never occurred to either of us to even say, I love you. All you write, he said, are sad poems. What would you have me write? The truth, you ought to write a poem called Fuck It with no C, and it should go like this. He did the best he could with what he had, and he ain't had nothing except the blues. The end. brother shoves at us a basket of boysenberries as if paying a debt. They bleed on our fingertips, plead sweet mercy on our tongues. Asked his name, the man smiles proper, his hand a gift, says too complicated. 
We buy nine dollars in cherries off him, all white and red and spotted and sweet and sour too. Flavors turning in our mouths, anxious as police lights. We, no, I, nearly trip over the sister pushing a baby carriage. We both know her but couldn't pull her name for nothing. Her new daughter asleep in turtle shell carriage. Her cheeks soft as rain-soaked petals. Her three-year-old son, standing sentry, digs into our kettle corn, kettle corn sack only after his mama approves, uh, approves, stamps approval with a glance. Later, fish tacos for me, Himalayan curry chicken for her. Us both lunching, watching children bounce in the fountain. Hot pepper toes pickled cool in water. Giggles going off like Chinese firecrackers. Dimples in bloom. Tiny teeth at separate corners of the mouth grudge matching. Thighs you'd want to fry chicken bite so golden brown. Pity another poor mama. Her daughter catfish writhing on her lap. Mango shake shook everywhere. The little girl on a straw never blinks, channeling opium addict ancestors through the unique ecstasy of fruit sugar. This is us at Farmer's Market, circling back to Brother Too, complica too Complicated, who offers one arm for her, the other for me, a chain of chins along his shoulders. Where you been, he says, double hugging us, and why has it taken you so long to come back? All right, thank you very much.